Hello there, I'm Gav. I'm Dan. We're the Slow Mo Guys. Dan, one of my favourite treats back when I lived in the UK was a lovely pack of Maltesers. Yeah, never used to be able to get them in America, but they've recently launched in the US, so they're all over the gaff now. So we thought, being from England, why not give them our own Slow Mo Guys launch? Yeah, at 800 feet per second with this massive air cannon. Hello, America. <laughs> I'm <laughs> here. <laughs> and we're going to film it at ridiculous frame rates on the Phantom V2511. Shall we start with a melon? Let's. I've got one right here, <laughs> enough, So Let's do it. All right, so how does this device work then? Kind of complicated, but uh, we've got high pressure nitrogen here, fed through a tube all the way into here, which is like a regulator valve. Now this, when it makes a sound, oh, right, it's a good that's sound. filling up the chamber with pressure, okay? Up to 150 PSI, which is regulated by that. When it stops making noise, that means it's full. All right. Okay. So now we've got our gas in here, and this is like our valve to release it. So it's armed, and then you press fire, and that's what releases the gas. Okay. Solenoid? Uh, it's called a, yes, solenoid valve. Yes. That's right, well done. Venturi here increases the pressure going into the chamber, and this here is our chamber where we load the Malteser in. Ah, okay. So that's where we go, and if it fits, it sits. So you put it in there, <laughs> <laughs> put it in there, screw it up, yep. and then we've got our tube here, it gets fired along here with the pressure, and our object that's going to be imminently destroyed sits here. That's the goodbye zone. Yeah, this isn't going to be here for when we're shooting stuff, but this is a tester to find out how fast stuff goes. What's our highest Malteser so far? Fluke one, 900 feet per second, which is faster than a 45 caliber round comes out of the muzzle of a pistol. So it's pretty intense. <laughs> so we might as well be using a firearm. We might as well just be sitting there with a pistol. <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right, and then, it, and then we've got a backboard over there to catch the mess. Yes, absolutely. Malteser as you can see, ready to get loaded in. Just pops in there, screw this up. That's our chamber. Cool, okay, so I'm gonna <laughs> gas the tube. Army. Three, two, one. <laughs> oh, goodness me. I think we need to clean our glass. <laughs> oh, oh that's the, the air. Oh. oh What's that? <laughs> Is that just all the air being released? <laughs> It comes with a lot of air. <laughs> I need to adjust the exposure. There's a lot of air that, and spray that's so bright. Yeah. All right, I think we should do that again. So we've seen what happens with one Malteser, but what happens if we do two Maltesers? <laughs> Got two here. See if you can bung both of them in there. One, two. Ready for gas. Good sound, isn't it? It's so meaty. Three, two, one. <laughs> Whoa! Bloody hell, that was a different splattered. story. <laughs> you got hit over there? Got watermelon brains on me. <laughs> Here's our unsuspecting watermelon. Just chilling out. That was a really good escalation. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa, wait. Oh, one <laughs> after the other. Flip. What do you think determines that gap? I have no idea. I mean, Maltesers aren't perfectly round, so maybe this just like they're different shapes cause them to come through at different times. That's opened it up like an absolute view there. Definite evisceration. Look at the chunks. How does something as light as a Malteser, <laughs> or oh, sorry, two Maltesers, <laughs> do that to a watermelon? You'd, you'd, need, you'd need to use a sledgehammer to get that effect as a human, wouldn't you? Yeah. Unbelievable. Oh, is that the furthest chunk? That's the furthest chunk I've seen. That must be <laughs> 30 meters, something like that. I'm gonna see if our Maltesers will go through a soda pop can. Ready? Yep. Three, two, one. Whoa! Oh. <laughs> the second one is so funny to me. Yeah. It's always like way too late to do anything about it. It was like the can was a human and got punched in the gut. The way it buckled down, like. Oh. Yeah, it did. Controlling on the laptop today because. Uh, we're indoors. So I'm going to reduce the resolution on this one to 512 by 320, not remotely HD or even SD. And we're going to shoot at 118,000 frames a second just to get that crushing impact of the Malteser around here. Arming. Right. Three, two, one. <laughs> oh. I like how it seems to make you jump every time. <laughs> You're Which the one the doing it and you're like, mm. yeah. <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> this is 120. Whoa. You see the tear on the can go round there? <laughs> yeah. That must have been so quick. Mm. 
I almost want to see that frame by frame. Yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's amazing. God. Look at that flowering effect. That's so cool. The so way it, it like, just went popped it. It flattens itself. So a lot of the energy is absorbed by itself, but it still has enough force is that, to... Is that Malteser there? Just bits of Malteser crushed? Yeah. So I was looking, and I was wondering if I could find the piece of can that the Malteser hit. I wondered if it just, like, shattered the can, or I would have thought it... it would just split it and go through. Apparently not, because I found the exact piece <laughs> that the Malteser hit. It's even concaved like a sphere from a Maltese. Look at it. Yeah. Perfectly hit. So we're going for something a bit more substantial this time. Um, ping pong bat here. Do you think it'll go through? I think it'll go through. I have Ooh. faith. You don't think it'll go through? No, because plywood's always layered, isn't it? It's layered to be strong. It'll go through. It'll go through? Yeah. All right. Three, two, one. Oh. Oh. What? Did it go through or did it go through? <laughs> it went straight through like it was nothing. I owe you 10 bucks. You do? Bugger me. It couldn't be cleaner. It's like a bullet hole. <laughs> oh, jeez. Look at that exit there. That is a nasty exit wound. Oh, perfect Malteser size, look. I was a bit worried because I thought, is it going to ping back and hit me? <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> see you later. Jeez. Did you see the ripple of the rubber there and the wood just flying out the back? Been hit by a cannon. You know, we've been shooting a lot of stuff that's like I knew would go, like a melon yeah. or a drink. That surprised me. Yeah. I don't know why it surprised me, considering the speeds. <laughs> and the, the air from the cannon is like going... Yeah. Got the fast camera, got a fast Malteser. Perfect for smashing some glass. How do you feel about, about vases? Yeah, got a few of them at home. Yeah? Yeah, I like them. Why do you hate this one so much? It's rank, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Three. Two, one. We, we're yet to beat these Maltesers. Man, what can't they destroy? This glass is thick on this. <laughs> oh, whoa. <laughs> Goodness me. Now that was weird. It went and hit, and then it looked like it stopped. And then the Malteser sort of went into itself, and then it went in more. Yeah, it was like it, like the bars absorbed all the Maltesers' power and just shattered God. them. God. I want to see that frame by frame. Hold on. There's that one was... frame in there that looks astonishing. Or maybe there. That's the one. <laughs> Look at it. The motion blur on that. So we've done a vase. Right. So we've done a vase. <laughs> I thought we could do a vase but filled with different coloured paint. I just I feel like you're just trying to make the biggest mess possible. Yeah. Three, two, one. <laughs> Whoa! That is a bigger mess than I was expecting. That, that is, is a, a monster. Look at this tripod. Oh no! <laughs> Straight through. <laughs> Seg so just doubles it up. Oh. It's amazing how much of it went forwards. Yeah. That's just blown it completely away. It's like a, a black hole engulfing a planet. Imagine if you hadn't covered the camera with the plexiglass. So now we've made this giant mess, let's revisit the ping pong bat and get a gnarly exit wound, shall we? Yeah, see if we can see all the wood flying out the back. Bet you 10 bucks it goes through. I'm not taking that bet. I might put another, ping po another uh, Malteser in there just to see it come through the hole that we've already made. by the. That's a good idea. So it's like exit wound and then, hello. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. I like that. Three, two, one. <laughs> Whoa! Just took the bat off. Bloody hell. <laughs> Just removed the bat instead. Oh, and it went through as well. It went through too? I wonder if just the leftover air from the, the uh, blast. Oh, oh, that's the first, oh. that's destroyed it. Straight through, it's dust. The other one turned to dust as well. Oh, the yeah. other one came through the hole, but it was all sort of ripped up, so it just became nothing also. Mm. And then now the air's blowing it off the handle. Yeah, that's just flown I off. think a lot of it is to do with, on the other, t the other turn, it was nailed, but also a lot of the paddle was behind the plank. Mm. And because it was on the other side, it, was, it had less strength in that direction. So we fired through quite a lot of stuff with Maltesers, right? And so far, we've found that it seems to obliterate on the first hit. Yeah. So I thought we could do a test where we put three Maltesers right. in the chamber, and we have three pieces of glass, 
and we see if the first one will smash the first pane, the second one will smash the second pane, and the third one the third. So we're going to see if it's like a one-to-one, -one, yeah. three-for-three sort of basis. I'm wondering if it will get, we can go bang, 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 because we know they follow quite But here's the thing, though. By the third one, it's going to be going through the shards and debris of the yeah. first two panes. Yeah. So I don't think this one will break. You don't think it will? No, That's your I think prediction. this one will definitely. That one, yeah. No. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> three, two, one. Oh. Wow, well, Damn it. gone through all three. <laughs> now I wonder if it will be as I, as I hoped, where each individual one smashed its own pane of glass. Oh, it was safety glass. Oh. You can hear, you can hear the lovely safety glass popping. Okay, here's the first Maltesa one. one. Through the first pane. Oh, it's just nothing. Oh, come on, come on. <gasps> oh! <laughs> yes! Oh, he's done it. Maltesa number two. Where's so the third, is Where's the the third, third? one going to thread the needle? Or is that... Oh, oh here it comes. comes. Wait, if it shatters beforehand. It did. Oh, it shattered beforehand. The dust. So the glass... The third one's made it through, though. Is it going to make it through the... <laughs> it comes <laughs> busting through. It's so fast that the tiny shards of chocolatiness and glassiness <laughs> actually destroyed the third pane. Now what we need to do is load it up with 20 and get 20 pieces of glass. <laughs> How many can we get through? Now we're going to switch up the camera and the angle to get some much wider, higher resolution shots of the destruction. But we've run out of more teasers. That's all right, we'll just uh, open another bucket. Let's do it. Three, two, one. I like how all the air has gone in through the hole <laughs> and out through the lid. <laughs> so the Malteser went in, smashed it all up, <laughs> air filled it, and the lid blew off. Yeah. <laughs> through the Malteser hole. You know what I like about pineapples? Go on. Pretty much everything. But I would prefer it if this pineapple was over there and a bit on the wall. Luckily, <laughs> we have the perfect contraption for that. <laughs> so, three, two, one. <laughs> Have a look at this footage. <laughs> this is a, a perfect example of why we needed to use the other camera. Because this is the Malteser. <laughs> what? You caught the frame of it? The Malteser apparently is this long. So our exposure time here is about a three thousandth of a second. So in one three thousandth of a second, it moved from there to there. Goodness me. that streak. So it's a good job we got all the other shots on the, uh, on the fast camera. This is a slow motion camera that can't even see it one frame of Malteser. So this is our pineapple. Before. After. <laughs> Just looks like someone's taken a big bite out of it. Except it was a Malteser sort of sized <laughs> bite. If a horse took a bite out of yeah. it. <laughs> Three, two, one. So one thing I've noticed while using the Phantom Flex at like 1600 FPS mm. is that the Malteser is fast as heck. It's yeah. just like one streaky blur. It's like a streak of, yeah. So now we're going to film it from a standstill as it accelerates all the way up to the end of the pipe. And I think for a nice scale speed reference, if you just drop a Malteser at the same time, so you, you can sort of see, you know, that's gravity and that is how fast that's moving in comparison. Yeah, so I've got to trigger it and drop at the same time. Yeah. I think by the time I've let go, it'll already be out the end. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> just don't trigger it before you let go. So I'll let go and trigger. All right, cool. I think I can manage that. Yeah. The thing is, I wonder if you could tell the acceleration as well. Like if it's a small blur here and then a faster, bigger blur here. Should be. Maltese are grabbed. Right. Three, two, one. <laughs> I hope I timed that right. It looked like you did. Yeah. The Malteser has been released. Release of Malteser. It looks like it's space, doesn't it? it looks like I'm in space mm. here. Like I've let something go Thumbs in zero G. Down. Malteser inside hasn't started moving yet. I reckon it'll be about there before it does. 
Whoa! Wait, what? <laughs> that was it. Wait, what? I think I missed it. it Can went. you do it again? Do it again. God. Right, you have to tell me because I completely missed it. Okay, ready? Yeah. Woo! Oh, yeah. <laughs> so how far did it move when it was dropping there? A centimetre, maybe? Like from there to there. It moved like one length of itself. <laughs> so it moved one Malteser. So in the amount of time it took from it, for it to get from the beginning to the end of the barrel. That is a very good speed comparison. It took one Malteser. Well, Dan, I thought that was a fantastic amount of destruction. I made a nice piece of art as well, as we usually do. Yeah. Do you think a Malteser has ever gone that fast? Absolutely not. There's no <laughs> way a Malteser has gone that fast before. You'd have to, I don't know, fire it into space or something. Or just take a packet of Maltesers on a plane. And technically, that'd be faster, wouldn't it? Uh, all right, no, no. Okay, <laughs> fine, fine. I mean, maybe, like, relative to someone else three feet away. One's never yeah, moved yeah. faster. Yeah. Okay, yeah. yeah, right. Thanks to Maltesers for sponsoring this video. Yeah, I always appreciate a company that lets us advertise their products by absolutely trashing them. Always good. Yeah. There's none left that just <laughs> does. Feel free to follow us on Twitter. Subscribe to this channel. We've got a second channel too, and we will see you very soon for the next video. Yeah. Give us a click. Click, click, click some waves. Click. <laughs>